Hello YouTube friends. This first little bit is the cats. Look, the cats are socially isolating. <laughs> that was Prudence in a basket full of sewing. Norma. And there's Sadie asleep on the chair. And then this last one is Rita, who still doesn't look 100%, but she's taking her antibiotics and she's actually doing much, much better. She doesn't like her antibiotics, though. Just another couple of days of those. Uh, she is definitely improving because of them. Uh, and so she's pretty good about taking them, really. So what about today, then? How are we all doing today? Um, Monday, a start of another week. Uh, Monday's my shipping day and so I spent the day in uh, this morning in Pink HQ packing up a load of uh, parcels of the things that um, people have been buying in the shop. Uh, the, uh, the little video yesterday about the soap, people bought all the soap so I was parceling those up, took them to the post office, Phil's still going strong at the post office, I just left them in a bag by uh, by the door then phoned him up and told him they were there. <laughs> So the social distancing thing, people definitely are taking it more seriously. At least I hope they are, because that's the thing that's going to help prevent the spread of this pernicious virus. It's been a beautiful day here today. Really lovely. So I spent some time outdoors in the garden. I'm going to put a little bit of film in here. One of the jobs that's on the list of things to do outside in the garden, while it's such a beautiful day, is sorting out the pavilion. This is such a fabulous place to spend time, but it's um, become a bit of a dump. So what I've done this morning is I've, as all the other houses are empty, <laughs> I've been and collected one of their refuse bins here, and I'm going to just sling in there everything that is um, clustering up this place and have a look at everything and put it back in its right places. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how far we get. I think we need to put you a bit further back and maybe higher up so that you can see. to do. <laughs> yeah, a bit at a time. I think that's the idea, isn't it? That if I just do a few minutes every day and and so that's the plan. I'm going to parcel up all these different jobs instead of just tackling one job and wearing myself out and getting bored with it. I'm actually going to do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of this. And so today then, packing this morning, tidying up the pavilion this afternoon and then I had uh, I rewarded myself with an hour with my jigsaw. So I've set the jigsaw up upstairs in the room that is the spare room for visitors but actually it's not anymore. Uh, it's the room where I store all my packing boxes and um, what are they called? Uh, packing peanuts. I've got some biodegradable packing peanuts and, and you know, bubble wrap and cardboard and brown paper and all of that stuff. So I feel a little bit like I'm in the storeroom in the back shop, but I've got a table set up in the window and a lamp so that I can see if it's night time. And I, I, my plan is to not to spend no more than one hour with the jigsaw. I've finished the 
border now and I've put all the pieces out and face up so that I can go every now and then and just have a few minutes with my Harry Potter jigsaw, which is fantastic. But then some other things as well. Um, I've been just lately, I haven't been very motivated to cook. So I made green juice today, uh, which I've got all the ingredients for and it was absolutely delicious and it really perked me up. And that made me think that I need to have uh, a garden full of the things that I like to make juice with. So I got my planning book out, which is the book that I've been using for years now. And it shows me what I planted last year and the year before and where in the garden it was so that I can do a proper crop rotation. Mm. But then where there were gaps, because there definitely are uh, some seeds that I just haven't got and will have to buy either online or um, wherever I can get them. Uh, one more thing I want to show you, because of course I'm knitting. I haven't done any more on this lilac dishcloth, but that's because I've cracked open this pattern. Uh, I wonder if you can see it. Yes, you can. It's like a big shawl. And I bought this pattern uh, last summer. And I bought it in greens and grey and gave it to my friend. And she made it. In fact, I can show you a picture of her. Because in the zine that, that some of the patrons get, there's a feature called Kate's Mates or Meet Kate's Mates. And my friend Jane was the mate in February. So look, there she is, look, wearing the green shawl that I'd bought the kit of for her. She looked great, doesn't she? So when I saw Jane wearing that shawl, I thought, oh, should have bought myself one of those. So I went back to the website, Midwinter Yarns it's called, and I bought the same kit, but they didn't have a green one. And I didn't want one the same as Jane's anyway. Mine is going to be sort of this charcoal-y black colour and pinks and greys, uh, which, you know, the black, not usually my thing because I don't really like black very much. But I think that once it's mixed in with the, and so far, <laughs> cast it on, and so far all it is is grey. The pink's coming. So the jury's out on whether I'm going to love this or not. But it's a very, very simple, easy pattern. Once you cast on here, this little bit here, then it's a simple matter of placing some markers and increasing at the um, edge and down the back. So that'll be the back, won't it, like that. So increasing like that. Now, it's so simple. It's nice, isn't it? Well, we'll see. Black. Not sure. <laughs> I do like Jane's one. But it might be just the thing I need for around my shoulders on a cold um, eve uh, evening. Although the weather is getting really lovely, isn't it? So guys, I wonder how you're doing with all this social distancing and isolation and uh, hunkering down uh, and not seeing your relatives or except on FaceTime. I've got a little kind of checklist that I go through in my head that I'm trying to do each day. Uh, I wonder if you've got one as well. Uh, I, I recommend you have a, have a go. One So... I can easily slip into bad habits. We all can. So my first one is I've got to be out of bed, showered and properly dressed by eight o'clock. Not, not half past seven, but five to eight's fine. As long as I'm out by eight o'clock and, and the day's started, it would be so easy for me to sit in my dressing gown, answering emails and pretending I was working. So that's the first rule. Shower. Dress. And also the other thing I'm doing is I'm going through my wardrobe and finding clothes that I've, I've been hanging in there for years and I've never worn for the longest time. And I'm thinking, well, shall I do I like that? Shall I put it on? So I've been wearing some uh, I'll be wearing some strange and curious things in the next few days as I dish all of, uh, fish all of those out. Up and dress by eight then and have a proper breakfast. I'm not very good at um uh, at regular meals. I think it's because I've lived on my own for such a long time now. I just eat when I'm hungry and sometimes I don't get that hungry. <laughs> so I'm trying to have breakfast and I'm having a green juice as well. 
So I started back in on the green juices, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, and then I'm going to try and have one outside walk a day. I used to walk once around the dam every day. It only takes about seven minutes to walk around the dam. Ten if you're going to stroll. It's really easy to do. And now that everything's, you know, I have seen the odd fisherman outside there. They are odd as well. No, I've seen the occasional fisherman. But there are no people around now. So it's really straightforward for me just to walk once around the dam, which would be good exercise and good fresh air. Uh, so that the idea is that I get outside once a day, not just to feed the hens. Maybe taking Eileen for a swim once a day. So what was that then? Get up and get dressed. <laughs> Some some mornings that's that, that's hard to do. <laughs> get up and get dressed. Uh, have a walk. Eat well. Do something productive. Uh, and so for me, productive today was the um, working outdoors. I also have some fun. So that's the jigsaw. Uh, having some time upstairs with the jigsaw. And uh, also a, another really important one for me is to connect with somebody. Uh, by FaceTime or just connect with someone I know. It's, I had a lovely chat with Anna today, uh, which was lovely. So doing that. And then there was one more. What was the last one? No, can't remember. Was there another one? Do something productive? No, there might, there might not have been another one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You make your own list. It doesn't have to be a list that you write out. It can just be a resolve in your head. Because I think otherwise we're all going to go slightly around the bend, aren't we? I know I am. So don't go around the bend. Stay really positive and, and see this as an opportunity to do some of the things that um, you've always been meaning to do, but have never really had the chance. Now's the chance. I hope, I hope you're well. I don't mean to be trivial and make light of this. I really don't. It's a big, serious issue that we're facing here. But I think there are lots of uh, things that we can do to help ourselves stay uh, connected and stay sane until we come out the other end of this, in which we will. We will do that. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with you all soon, possibly tomorrow, and see how we go. And uh, take care and be happy.